hi and welcome to another video of the Green Earth series on the Wealthy Soul YouTube channel. If you don't know much about Wealthy Soul, it is a health and wellness blog run by me, Elise, with key emphasis on the mind, body, and soul. So for today's Green Earth series video, we'll be starting with chamomile. Chamomile is a very, very good beginner's herb because it has a lot of relaxing qualities about it from your digestive tract to your muscles to your mental stress. So without further ado, let's get right into it. So here I just have some dried chamomile for you guys to see what it actually looks like. It's just sitting on a jar cap resting there and there are two types of chamomile that are used medicinally the first one is German chamomile and this is the scientific name right next to it I'll leave that there for you guys a bit and the second is Roman chamomile and this is the second most common chamomile used medicinally and the scientific name is right next to it again and I'll leave that there for you guys again. So the medicinal uses and benefits of this herb um, start with it being an anti-inflammatory, a pain reliever and a carminative and specifically an anti-inflammatory and pain reliever for the digestive system which will soothe the stomach, prevent from swelling, obviously. And the carminative again, which is good for the um, expulsion of gas and promotes healthy digestion. So there are some benefits for that. Furthermore, chamomile is an antispasmodic, a nervine, and a mild bitter. With it being an antispasmodic, it relieves muscle cramps and with it, it being one of the most widely used relaxing nervine tonics it provides a very very good relaxing overall feel to the nervous system and the aspect of it being a mild bitter it stimulates normal secretion of digestive juices which benefits all types of digestion of any kind and it counteracts some of the physical symptoms of depression that can come to the gastrointestinal tract I can love you better than she can. I can love Some mediums of medicine for chamomile are teas, oils, and tinctures. All three can be applied to the body topically, and the teas and some of the oils and tinctures can be ingested. A lot of times when you're applying them topically is to reduce swelling of some sort or take care of a skin rash or any skin conditions. And when you're ingesting it, it's usually to either reduce pain or provide as a sleeping or relaxing aid and, you know, get rid of some menstrual cramps for the ladies out there. Just some additional information about chamomile starting with German chamomile the specific uses for this type of chamomile are usually skin conditions slow healing wounds rashes swollen gums and things that are most likely are topical where they're affecting your skin and stuff like that Roman chamomile tends to focus on being ingested with you taking it to help an upset stomach, use it as a sleeping aid or relaxing aid, and use it for menstrual pain. Now that doesn't mean that either of these can be used or switched, switched or flip-flopped. Chamomile is chamomile, so you can ingest German chamomile and you can use Roman chamomile topically. It's just that the history of these two, both these two species, that they are used for these certain things. It doesn't mean that you can explore and experiment with them things yourself. You. Lastly, I just wanted to comment on the flavor of chamomile. It is a very, very, very mild flavor. It will definitely accompany different herbs in a lot of different teas. 
you can use it with peppermint or you know honeysuckle or any other herbs and it will give a mild flavor and also a relaxing effect to that tea that is all for the green herb series chamomile if there's anything else that you guys would like to know about herbs or anything that you would like for me to add to the green earth series please comment um, and make, be sure to like share and subscribe and just thank you all for watching and enjoy the rest of your day and every time you kiss me i hear a song